explosive. Rapper MIA speaks out why she disappeared and sacrificed her career. Blames Jay-Z and Rock Nation? Let's find out. Please be advised this video is for entertainment or educational purposes. It also contains opinions and speculations regarding topics that have been discussed in media and print. Please always do your own research to make and come to your own conclusions. Now let's get back to the video. Articles online have been sneaking up and popping up in regards to Jay-Z. Did his unexpected speech at the Grammys seem to stir the pot? Jay-Z has been said to be one of the most powerful names and personalities in hip-hop, even in line with P. Diddy. But it has been speculated that Jay has pulled back from showing his full support for Diddy as he doesn't want his money and fortune to come crumbling down or tarnish his and his wife Beyonce's names. Prior to the Grammys, a lot of drama was going on due to relationships and friendships surrounding the controversial brother love, Diddy's recent lawsuits, and his allegations. Sugar Daddy Clive Davis even has started to worry, according to reports, where he originally was going to pull out the red carpet and celebrate support Diddy, but all of a sudden made some party plan last minute switches and adjustments, which has apparently made Diddy see how he needs to really be on his best behavior. Now for MIA, if she really has some wild serious allegations that need to come to light, this is definitely the time as many in the industry have been recently um, exposed and brought to court for many disturbing accusations that apparently have been happening behind the scenes in the music and entertainment business. I had personally always wondered what happened to her after her one major hit, Airplanes. And apparently, this article and report just might explain and answer my questions. According to Sam Moore from HipHopDX.com, Jay-Z was called out by MIA in an explosive rant. I'm not allowed to see my child. The British rapper went on a lengthy social media tirade on Thursday, February 8th, making reference to Joe Biden, Julian Assange, and the war in Palestine. The paper plane star initially wrote, Biden won't let me see my child. The longest processing is meant to be two months, and it's already been that, and shared a screenshot of an email claiming she is ineligible for a U.S. visa. She added, they basically are saying, I have to wait for a Republican to come to office because nine months from now is the election. I will add she has some errors in her posts um, due to a language barrier issue, so bear with me. But it was said that MIA then claimed that her 14-year-old son is currently staying with people convicted of SEX traffic light. I'm not allowed to see my child for stealing food at 18 when I was poor, yet your government is okay with my child being with family convicted for child traffic lighting and SEX cults. Okay. And then she added, the difference between me and the migrants coming in is that I can't vote. I'm paying U.S. taxes too. Sick. So already straight out of the gate. She's already mentioned and dropped a few mic bombs right there. You know, she mentions um, kind of going at it towards the government, uh, child traffic light, SEX cults, and she gets a little more detailed as we go on. MIA alleged that she was denied a visa due to her support of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange and her calls for a ceasefire in the conflict between Israel and Palestine. I have shown support for Julian for 14 years and have been to the USA many times. 
The only thing different this time is I called for a ceasefire and spoke out against genocide and ethnic cleansing she wrote now i am forced to pick between my child and speaking up for what's right by god now you're probably wondering what the hell does this have to do with jay-z and rock nation well we're about to get to that you see her child was fathered by a musician and businessman benjamin brofman then alleged a conspiracy involving her ex-husband's prominent family and her former label, Rock Nation, writing, My first custody battle was in 2013. My child was four. I was managed by Jay-Z, who ultimately was paid by the Brofmans. Then she stepped a little further as she apparently had screenshotted a Wikipedia article about NXIUM cult, which included among its leadership two Brofman's cousins. And if I'm correct, I believe one of the main top females that actually got in trouble with all that was um, a Brofman related in somehow an heir to the Seagram's fortune so let's see she then claimed to be very clear why her methanagi i'm probably saying that wrong i'm sorry record was buried in 2013 before adding i sacrificed my career for my child they ripped me off and copied my style and gave it to their puppets and shadow banned me on every platform but it was worth it to save him from the madness of what you now know. MIA also alleged there was a connection between the Brofman family, Hillary Clinton, and the Libyan regime after colonial Gaddafi was unalived. Hillary Clinton gave Sarah Brofman Gaddafi's oil fields after unaliving him. I was punished for saying he helped Africa. Then they tried to send my child to one of her schools. When I went to visit the school, the children looked dozy and drugged, and I couldn't tell why. I refused. The rapper who also used to be in a relationship with Diplo. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, so you guys, if you don't know who Diplo is, do your research and check out Sloan's videos on him. It will tell you a lot right there. So it says she used to be in a relationship with him, then took aim at Jay-Z and Rock Nation. The day I was served for my child, Rock Nation stopped all communication with me and all my emails to Jay-Z asking for help was wiped from my inbox. And then there's like a missing word here. My something was broken into and every lap was taken. I'm assuming laptop. So maybe apartment. I was trapped in Brooklyn on order served that restricted me leaving Brooklyn for 15 years. Oh boy. She went on to say, I had sex in Texas once in 2008. Um, okay. <laughs> I wish my fight for my child was just with a random dad and not the entire cesspool of the U.S. government and all global banking. Ooh, all global banking institutions and now Israel's war and military industrial complex and a bunch of P-E-D-O-S. Like how? Oh shit, girl. Oh shit! She came out with guns blazing here. Okay. She dropped <laughs> the words all global banking institutions, okay? All I'm gonna say is do your research. Look into that. There's videos on YouTube as well. It's much more than just banking and banks and what? money. 
people's money in banks. It's all oh, way more than that. And she might get a little more detailed in here. Let's see. MIA also alleged that her son was vaccinated without her consent, pointing the finger at Canadian fashion designer and activist Aurora James, who she says is a friend of Beyonce and Solange. Aurora James vaccinated my child without my permission. They manipulated my child by lying to a 12-year-old, pretending to be his mom. Of course, if it's not your own child, you don't care how you can psychologically damage a child with mental games. She, Beyonce, and Solange's friend. Again, they vaccinated him even after calling me an anti-vaxxer and humiliating me in the press for good two years and canceling my latest MATA record um, from all promo and touring. Again, sacrificing another LP, yet they still vaccinated him at 12 to get at me. Jay-Z Rock Nation, the Broffman family, Aurora James, and Hillary Clinton have not yet responded to various claims made by MIA. And let's be real, the, Bra the Broffman family is not very public, I should say. And if they were to speak out, it would be in a very tight, short and sweet, buttoned up PR statement. Um, and they wouldn't be showing their faces. As for Jay-Z Rock Nation, if this blows up, yeah, he'll have to say something because look, it looks bad after P. Diddy has been in the news with some shit. And um, yeah, as for Hillary Clinton, let's be real, that, that's not gonna happen. She's not going to say shit. <laughs> no. The comment section. No one's really showing any sympathy towards her. It's, it's sad. One comment said, Wake up before you can't wake up and you're at your wake. Lloyd Banks. It would truly be in your best interest to stay silent. Sal Shalom. Peace. Followed by other comments and posts where... People were just saying, look, you knew what you went into. You were marrying into a family that was known for bad things. But uh, I don't know, man. A lot of things have been exposed and the curtains have been drawn back and everybody's seeing. It's all coming to light, you know. <sighs> There's even rumors that... They say Beyonce is just like what happened with Britney. She's being under the influence by certain people. And then when you see her at events, sometimes she does look drowsy and out of it. But I, I don't know. Have you guys read any of this or heard about any of this? What do you think? Tell me in the comments down below. I would really love to hear and see what you guys are hearing and seeing. I will dig in a little more deeper. I personally don't like Jay-Z. Yeah, he's had some hits, but I never really cared for his stuff. Um, Enemy spotted. He's sus, man. He was very involved with P. Diddy. He... Him and Diddy were very, very close. So Damn! it will be interesting to see where this goes. And um, I personally hope uh, and pray for her safety because she's coming out and saying a lot of things that people do not talk about. According to Wikipedia online, her ex-husband that we were discussing, the Brofman family, it says they are a Canadian family known for its extensive business holdings. It owes its initial fame to Samuel Brofman, 1889 to 1971, the most influential Canadian 
uh, Jew of the mid 20th century who made a fortune in the alcoholic distillery <laughs> beverage business during American prohibition, including the sale of liquor through organized crime. Hello there. Oh, through founding the Seagram Company and who later became president of the Canadian Jewish Congress, 1939 to 62. The family is of Russian Jewish and Romanian Jewish ancestry. The patriarch um, Yael Brofman was originally a tobacco farmer from uh, Bessarabia. I'm sorry if I'm saying these things wrong. I'm terrible with pronunciation. Um, and I have a stutter. So, according to the New York Times staff reporter Nathaniel Popper, the Brofman family is perhaps the single largest force in the Jewish charitable world. So, the Seagram's fortune is not just liquor. It's also like the, you know, the regular sodas that are Seagram's. So, they do have a lot of... Of financial business holdings and stakes in a lot of things. And y'all already know, usually when there's smoke, that means there might be fire. So, do you guys think there's some truth behind this? Do you think this really is the reason why she kind of fell off the map for people? Do you think more is going to come out? I don't know, man. I think she she's trying to stand her ground and stick to her roots and um, express her gut feelings and you know she's entitled to all that but at the same time she might be harming herself she might be putting herself in harm's way so tell me all what you think in the comments down below and I will see you in a new video soon I'm Linda and that's for the record your honor